Hello, I am Dr. Akhilesh. In this video, I will tell you about the body water distribution and the method of the estimation of the body fluid in the various compartments. The body water is 60% of the body weight. So I will write here TBW, total body water. This is equals to 60% of the body weight. This total body water is divided into two compartments. One which is present inside the cell that is also called as the intracellular fluid and other one which is present outside the cell that is also called as the extracellular fluid. So intracellular fluid is also called, called, called as ICF and the extracellular fluid is also called as ECF. So out of these two, the intracellular fluid is more than the extracellular fluid. The intracellular fluid is two third of this body water and extracellular fluid is one third of the body water. So this ICF is equals to 40% of the body weight, 40% of the body weight or you can also say that this is equals to two third of the body water. The extracellular fluid or the ECF. So this will be equals to how much? So this will be equals to 20% of the body weight. Or you can also say that this is equals to one third of the body water. So one third of the body water. The extracellular fluid is further divided into two compartment. One is called as the plasma and other one is called as interstitial fluid. The interstitial fluid means which is the fluid which is present in between the cells. So it is one is the plasma and other one is the interstitial fluid. Out of these two, the interstitial fluid is more than the plasma volume. The plasma volume is one fourth of the ECF and the interstitial fluid is three-fourth of the ECF. So therefore, this plasma is equals to one-fourth of ECF means 5% of the body weight. Or we can also say that, or we can say that it is one-fourth of the ECF. Now the interstitial fluid, this is equals to how much? So this is equals to 15% of the body weight or we can also say that 3 fourth of the ECF. So total body water is 60% of the body weight. It is divided into two compartment. One is called as the extracellular, other one is called as the intracellular. So extracellular is 20% of the body weight and intracellular is 40% of the body weight. The extracellular fluid is divided into two compartments. One is called as the plasma, other one is called as the interstitial fluid. The plasma is 5% of the body weight and interstitial fluid is 15% of the body weight. So if we take the example, so let us take the example of a 70 kg man. If the weight is 70 kg, so in a 70 kg man, the water will be, so this total body water will be equals to how much? So this will be equals to 70 kg multiplied by 60%. So 60% will be the water. So this will be equals to approximately 42 liter. So this body water will be divided into two compartments, intracellular fluid and the extracellular fluid. So this intracellular fluid, this will be 40% of the body weight, so body weight is 70 kg, so it will be 40% of the 70 kg or we can also say that two third or we can also say that two third of the total body water or 42 liter. So both these values, these values are what? 28 liter. Now the extracellular fluid, the ECF, it will be equals to 20% of the 70 kg or we can also say that one third of 
42 liter. So both of them they are equal to how much? 14 liter. Now this ECF is further divided into one will be the plasma and one will be the interstitial fluid. So this plasma is equals to 5% of the body weight. So five body weight is 70 kg. So it will be 5% of the 70 kg or we can also say that one fourth of the ECF. So one ECF is 14 liter. So it will be one fourth of the 14 liter. So both of them they are equals to how much 3.5 liter. Now the interstitial fluid volume, the interstitial fluid volume, this will be equals to 15% of the body weight that is 15% of the 70 kg or 3 fourth of the ECF that is the 14 liter. So both of them comes out to be how much? So this both are equals to 10.5 liter. So what is the summary here? The summary here is in a 70 kg man, the total body water is 42 liter. This will be equals to 60% of the body weight. The ICF volume will be 28 liter which will be equals to 40% of the body weight or two third of the total body water. The ICF volume is 14 liter. So this will be equals to how much? 20% of the body weight or one third of the total body water. The plasma volume is 3.5 liter or we can say that it is 5% of the body weight or one fourth of the ECF. The interstitial fluid volume is 10.5 liter which is the 15% of the body weight or three fourth of the ECF. So remember this 60% the 60% is the body water. This is divided into 40% and 20%. The 40% is the intracellular fluid and 20% is the extracellular fluid. This 20% further divided into 5% and 15%. The 5% is the plasma and 15% is the interstitial fluid. So this, all this they are in terms of the body weight. So here 60% is the water. So the, all the values they are in the terms of the body weight. Now how this the various body fluid compartments they are estimated. So they all are estimated by the principle which is called the dilution principle. So in the dilution principle to estimate the plasma volume we use the Evans blue dye, we use the radioactive albumin, radioactive globulin, radioactive fibrinogen. The albumin, globulin and fibrinogen, they are, they are leveled with the iodine-125 which is radioactive. So mnemonic you can remember here, to estimate the plasma volume we can remember the mnemonic here, father age. So F stands for the fibrinogen, A stands for the albumin, G stands for globulin and E stands for Evans blue dye. Now, how this the red cell volumes they are estimated. So the red cell volume is estimated by using chromium 51, phosphorus 32 and the iron 59. So we can remember here the mnemonic Coke, Pepsi and Fanta. C for chromium, P for phosphorus and F for iron. So if we know the red cell volume and if we know the plasma volume then we can estimate the total blood volume also. So this blood volume will be equals to Plasma volume plus the red cell volume. The plasma volume we know very well it is 5% of the body weight. The red cell volume they are 3% of the body weight. So this blood volume will be equals to 8% of the body weight. So this all this percentage they are in terms of the body weight. Now, how do we estimate the ECF? The ECF is estimated by using inulin, mannitol, sucrose, sodium thiosulfate and radioactive sodium and radioactive chloride. So you can remember the mnemonic, MIS is so radioactive. M stands for mannitol, I stands for inulin, S stands for sucrose, another S stands for 
sodium thiosulfate. Now the SO 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 stands for sodium radioactive. So radioactive sodium radioactive chloride. Then how do we estimate the total body water? We estimate total body water by using deuterium oxide. Deuterium oxide is also called the heavy water and it is most commonly used to estimate total body water. Another substances which are used to estimate total body water they are tritium oxide, amino pyrene, antipyrene. So mnemonic you can remember here that D for deuterium oxide, A for amino pyrene, A for antipyrene, T for tritium oxide. So after this the interstitial fluid volume and the intracellular fluid volume they cannot be measured directly. So they are measured indirectly. So interstitial fluid volume is estimated by subtracting the plasma volume from the ECF volume. That is the ECF volume minus plasma volume. Similarly, the intracellular fluid volume, that is the ICF, it is estimated by subtracting the ECF from the total body water. That is the total body water minus ECF. So these two, they cannot be estimated directly. So now the ECF is also called as the milieu interior. The word milieu interior and the milieu exterior, they were given by the scientist called, his name was Claude Bernard. So based on this fact, now let us see some sample questions to clarify the topic. The question is, the false statement regarding body fluid is, so we have to find here the false one. It means the remaining are true. So one statement will be the false statement. Let us see the statements here. Total body water is 60% of the body weight. This statement is true. The intracellular fluid volume is 40% of the body weight. This statement is also true. The extracellular fluid volume is 20% of the body weight. This statement is also true. Interstitial fluid volume is 5% of the body weight. This statement is false because the interstitial fluid volume is not 5% it is how much it is 15% of the body weight so the false statement out of these four is d so answer here will be the d let us look at another sample question the substance used to measure plasma volume is so option a is inulin evance blue mannitol aminopyrin so these are the four options so out of these four options the plasma volume is estimated by Evans blue. It is also estimated by the radioactive albumin, radioactive globulin, radioactive fibrinogen. So out of these four options, the so answer is what? Evans blue. The inulin, it is used to estimate the ECF, the mannitol, it is also used to estimate the ECF, the amino pairing, it is used to estimate the body water. Another, let us look at another sample question. The deuterium oxide is used to measure. So, I told you in this, the deuterium oxide is used to measure the total body water. So, answer here is the B. So, Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe it and share it. Thank you very much.